חלק מההתמודדות שלנו במערכה הוא גם של יהודים ברחבי העולם. זה לא רק ההתראות של המטה למלחמה בטרור והחשש שהיה, אלא גל של אנטישמיות ואנטי-ישראליות שעולה, ובעיקר שתיקה של הרבה מאוד אנשים שחשבנו שהם חברים שלנו. דני כהן הוא מפיק טלוויזיה, נשיא קבוצת התקשורת אקסס, שהיא גם חלק מהבעלים של רשת. הוא גר בלונדון, הוא יהודי, והוא כתב מאמר בבריטיש טלגרף. שלום, דני. שלום. כתבת מאמר בטלגרף על האימה של היהודים בבריטניה. Correct, ממה? listen, the first thing I want to say from London is I stand by you. We stand with you here in the Jewish community in the UK. We feel your pain and we stand by you in solidarity. And I also want to thank all the journalists and everyone at Reshet 13 for the brave work they're doing uh, at a very, very tough time. And yes, I wrote a piece today for the Daily Telegraph here. There was a demonstration in London on Saturday. Tens and thousands of people, a pro-Palestinian demonstration. Um, and there was a lot of anti-Semitism in public at this demonstration. There was chanting of from the river to the sea, which I think everyone in Israel will understand the meaning of. It's a genocidal chant. It calls for the destruction of Israel. We cannot allow that to be said in this country. And I wrote about how chilling that was for Jewish people in this country, and also about the importance of speaking up, that people in the UK, they need to speak up for Jewish people, for the Jewish community, and for Israel. You can explain, Dan, the shock of the British in regard to what is clear as a light for us. The rest of the world of Hamas, in fact, דמוקרטיה מתגוננת שחייבת לפעול. So the first thing to say is that the UK government have been very, very strong on this. The Prime Minister Rishi Sunak visited a synagogue on Monday. He visited a Jewish school today. And he spoke very clearly and said, we stand with Israel. We deplore what Hamas has done. And we defend Israel's right to defend itself. What is disturbing is And it won't be only the case in the UK is that other people can be silent that other people if it was maybe another religion if it was another race and there'd been a massacre on the scale of what happened to Israel in Israel last weekend they would be speaking up and they're silent anti-semitism feeds on this silence anti-semitism feeds on this apathy and It not only takes the people who commit violent acts against Jews for anti-Semitism to flourish. Danny, what are the main issues of the work of you? Well, I know, for example, today that um, my article has been shared within companies, both in the UK and America. They've used the article, sent it to the bosses in their companies to ask, why aren't their companies speaking out? Why aren't their companies saying more? I also wrote a, an article for the Daily Telegraph a week ago It was the first article criticizing the BBC for not calling Hamas terrorists and for not calling the attacks last week terrorist attacks. That started a huge wave here, I think, which the Prime Minister and others then were involved with of criticizing the BBC and calling on them to change their policy. At the same time, I acknowledge my contribution overall is small, and it's just one of many things people here are doing in the UK to support Israel. אז לנוכח השתיקה הזאת, אנחנו חייבים לדבר בקול רם. תודה, דני, שפעלת כך, ותודה רבה שדיברת איתנו. תודה, אודי. שלום.